be an experiment about how to find your personal style of espresso. The experiment is going to be to pull three different espresso shots and map them out on three different charts and then compare them. Three of the most popular ratios that are out there, which would be a ristretto, a normale, and then a lungo. This experiment is going to start with just looking at ratio. Ultimately, you would then advance to looking at other variables that affect espresso's taste, but we wanted to focus in on brew ratio because it's the one that's gonna make the most difference initially. You're just looking at how much you're pulling out and what that difference is making. Uh, so we don't wanna be adjusting the grind size for each of these shots. And we're gonna drink a lot of espresso, so get ready for some caffeination. The experiment is gonna be also in a download on this video so you can download it and print it out and do it at your house. Throughout the extraction process, water pulls out different compounds from the coffee. As we let more water run through our special shot, we're pulling out more compounds. So the idea of extraction is to pull out the right amount of compounds. In our coffee extraction chart, we have salt, acid, sugar, oils, and bitter. Salt is one of the chemical compounds that will be extracted first in our shots. So uh, as you have a concentrated shorter shot, you might get more of these notes shining through in the taste. This should be a subtle taste overall. Acids are going to be what adds a bright note to our espresso. We can think about how different fruits have a little bit of acidity, uh, like a green apple, or when you're adding a little bit of uh, citrus to your pasta or fish, you want it to be there to add another layer of interest, but not be sour. Sugar, this should be a note that is sweet, but it's not gonna taste like your espresso has been sweetened with sugar. It's gonna come through more as a well-balanced taste. Oil. This is gonna be about the mouthfeel. Taste this note and think about how is the espresso coating your mouth and if you enjoy that. Some people enjoy thicker, more viscous shots more than others. The bitterness comes sometimes as an aftertaste. Uh, you can think of like a dark leafy green will have some bitter notes there when you eat it uh, raw or by itself. After tasting, we're gonna put a dot on each of the little charts boxes for which chemical compounds we're tasting and how strong or weak we're getting that flavor of that compound out. It's time to do an experiment. So as we finish our experiment, now we get to compare all of our charts. So we've got the coffee extraction for the first shot. This was the most concentrated. You can see it's very high on the notes. Our normale shot here, and this one was the most well-rounded for me. I had the most of a curve here for tasting well-balanced, and it was good. On the last shot, I got pretty low marking compounds as far as taste goes. It was not my favorite. Ideally, we're looking for some type of rainbow or more even curve of extraction. As you pull ratios a little bit shorter, a little bit longer, that curve is gonna change. And so this experiment is to show that curve changing and then what you might do to either lengthen out your espresso shot to balance it or shorten it to balance it. So if your shot is too acidic, lengthen it out a little bit with the ratio. And if your shot is too bitter, shorten it a little bit with the ratio. These small changes will make a huge difference. It doesn't even have to be 
uh, as big of a grams change as we're doing in this experiment. You can do just a few grams and it will make a big difference in the taste of your espresso. Ratio is only the first step in the process of dialing in, but it's a step that's gonna push you in the direction of making espresso that you love. Thanks for doing this experiment with me. Until next time. Please, please don't talk about